sun is shining and today feels like the perfect day to restart, reset and reboot ourselves. So how do we do that? I'm going to run and grab a coffee, come with me. I'll show you around where I live. And then we're gonna come home and sit down and talk about all the things that we can do today to start to reset ourselves and restart our lives. Let's go. very nice coffee from my local coffee shop and she gave me a free cookie which I'm going to take as a sign that the world is on my side and things are going to be okay. Hi my name is Mark T Cox. I am a performer, entertainer, cabaret star here in East London and I make videos about my life, about being freelance, self-employed, trying to survive through this world <laughs> that we're being dragged along through. Now, the last few months have been very difficult. And if you're like me, if you have a freelance business, you might have completely stopped your work for maybe the full year. And this might be the time where you're thinking about resetting. Today, we're gonna to talk about things you can do to help yourself get back in business, pick yourself up and look forward to a prosperous and exciting future living a freelance life. So if you're like me, you've probably spent the last year sitting around the house waiting for things to get better, waiting for restrictions to change and for the virus to go away. Today, I've decided I'm not waiting anymore. <laughs> Today is the day that I am going to restart my career and get myself back on track. So if you feel like you are ready to restart, keep watching. We're gonna talk about four or five things that you can do today to get yourself back on track and reboot. Let's go. Number one, start today. Don't wait. Don't wait until tomorrow. Don't wait until Monday or until next month. Start today. I have been very guilty of spending the last year waiting, wondering, watching the number of cases, watching the restrictions going up and down and trying to decide when is a good time to get my work back on track. Start today. Tell yourself whatever is happening out there in the world. Tell yourself that from today your career is reset and you are 
gonna be successful. Just tell yourself and then it's true. Start today. Number two, forget about the future. Forget about it. This might seem very negative and doomsome. Doomful? Doomsome. Full of doom. But I have learned over the last couple of weeks, one of the best things that we can do is to forget about the future. Just forget about it. Because we have no idea what's going to happen next. Maybe in a few months, everybody will be vaccinated, the world will be back to normal and everything will be fab. Maybe the virus will come back. Maybe there'll be a huge recession. Who knows? <laughs> Nobody knows. So stop trying to predict it. Stop trying to change your plans around what might or might not happen. Forget about the future and just focus on the now. And that is number three. Focus on the now, focus on today. This week, this month, don't go any further because we've no idea what's going to happen beyond next month. So focus on the now. Have a loose, vague sense of what you might want to happen in the next few years, but put most of your energy into now. Set short-term ambitions, short-term goals, and set achievable goals. What's a list of things that you want to achieve, want to put into action over the next few weeks? Don't go any further. And how can you start to make those happen? Now, if you have a business or you're a freelancer, your work is going to be different depending on what industry you're in. But you can definitely sit down today and make a list of a few things that you can start to tackle in order to get your business back on track short-term, achievable, reasonable things. Most of our disappointment and our frustration this year has been from things going wrong, things totally out of our control, being canceled and changed and disrupted. So one way to approach that is to set achievable goals within these current restrictions and this current situation. And then, unless a bloody, comet falls out of the sky and lands on top of our heads and we're all dead. That might be a blessing, actually. <laughs> we have a rough idea of how the next month or two is, is going to play out. So set achievable goals, things that you know you can manage in this current situation, and you'll start to feel successful. You'll start to feel like you're achieving something, and that will give you motivation to tackle new things next month and the month after. So your task is to write down a list of achievable goals and actions that you can tackle over the next couple of weeks and get going, get started on them. So sunny, I want to go outside. Now, number four, be good to yourself. Treat yourself, reward yourself. Praise small achievements, praise small actions and acknowledge everything that you do is taking a step to rebuilding your freelance situation and improving yourself. So reward yourself. I got this coffee this morning because I wanted it. I can't really afford it. It was three pounds. <laughs> I don't really have three pounds to spare, but this has given me motivation and drive to make this video and to tackle the tasks that I've set myself for the day. So reward yourself. Everything you do at the moment takes extra motivation, extra energy. Everything is so much harder than it used to be. So acknowledge that and tell yourself that you're doing all right. You're doing okay. It was worth the three pounds. It's really nice. There are so many children screaming. The schools are open again and they're screaming all the time. Okay, number five, do something today. Take one action today. Now you've maybe made a list of things that you want to achieve over the next few weeks. It's very easy to put that list aside, go make some food and go back to watching Netflix. Take one action today, send one email, tidy up one page on your website, make one post on your social media, do one thing that 
that has an effect and will lead to more things. It can be the simplest, smallest action, but by doing one thing today, you will start to see an impact. For me, so my business is cabaret entertainment. At the moment, I'm starting to prepare some concerts and shows for the summer when restrictions ease. It's really hard because I've no idea if these venues are going to actually open. It's really difficult. So today I'm gonna to take one action and that is to tidy up a page on my website which is listing all of these shows. It's gonna take me five minutes to do, but I've been putting off doing it for weeks because motivation is low. So I'm going to do that one task and I'm going to reward myself and tell myself that I'm great because I am great and you're great too. <laughs> so decide on your one task today, do it and reward yourself. Thank you for watching this video. I hope it helps give you some motivation. We all need a little energy and a little kick to get things back on track. This is really difficult. We have a lot of things coming and hitting us in the face every time we try to get our businesses back in order. So reward yourself, you know, tell yourself that you're doing okay. Get some actions going this week and next week and you will start to see an effect and a benefit. Good luck. If you like this video, make a little comment. Tell me your business, tell me what you're doing. It's really interesting to hear what people are doing in different parts of the world and how the restrictions are affecting your business. Drop a comment, um, get in touch on Instagram, stay in contact. It's really, really good to communicate and to moan and to complain at each other as well. That's, that's very important and helpful. So come and chat to me. I'm gonna make some more videos next week, show you a little bit more about my life and keep going. Bye. Just forget about it.